Basically what we're going to do is just, whoops, I wrote the wrong letter up here. Uh, we're going to talk about basically how to uh, graph how to graph functions by plotting points. So here you go, you've got a function g of x equal to 2x plus 4. And we're basically going to plug in some of our x's. So these are independent var variables. So we'll plug them in. To find this, what we're going to do is we're going to find g of negative 2. So say 2 times negative 2 plus 4. So when you do that, you'll get 4 plus 4, or negative 4 plus 4. So you'll get 0. Uh, to write our ordered pair, what we'll do is we'll say negative 2 comma 0. Uh, for the next one, we'll say g of negative 1 is going to be 2 times negative 1 and then plus 4. So we get negative 2 plus 4. So that's equivalent to positive 2. So that will be negative 1 comma 2. Uh, so as you can see, what we're doing is we're basically plugging in uh, the values for our x into our function, and we're simplifying the math. When we get our answer, what we're doing is we're writing as an ordered pair, where the x value comes first, and then our function value, or your y, comes second. So that's basically what we're doing. Uh, for each one of these, we'll plug them in, and obviously you guys probably know a couple shortcuts of how to do this, and you can get your answers a little bit quicker. But we're just showing you the manual labor involved in doing some of these problems here. And then our last one will be 2, comma 8. Now I'm not actually going to graph it, but all you have to do is plot those order pairs. Make sure you plug in enough values so you actually determine the shape of your graph. And then you're going to connect the dots. Since we are talking about a function, our function is going to be defined on all of our nice little intervals. So there you go.